So today is December the 19th. It's about 26 degrees this morning. And uh, today, if you watched yesterday's video, you know there was a um, trailer that I was going to go get today. And I've decided, I've got, I've got my 16 foot trailer. I'm just going to pull it up on it because I don't really want to mess with it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and load it on the 16 foot trailer and do those hedges. And I really appreciate the response I got on those hedges. And after um, much deliberation and thinking about it and knowing what I have seen in the past, uh, a lot of you guys, you suggested that may want to do a light cut because I may kill them and that's what I'm going to do since the customers kind of left it up to me um, personally I'd rather just cut them down I think they're too big and too ugly I don't like stuff like that in front of the house I'd rather have a nice mulch bed or a rock bed and some low growing plants because I just think that looks I think it looks bad and I, I tell you I, I do a lot of work for people that's getting homes ready to sell and usually they always have me pull everything out of the beds and plant it low growing stuff in there or new plants something to keep it nice and clean and neat looking so I'm going to do that <clears throat> and then I, I went to a place yesterday and trimmed a bunch of crepe myrtles I'm going to go back there today and get that guy mowed mow his leaves up, mow the yard and everything, cleaned up one last time. Then I have a big yard, it's about an acre of leaves. I told the lady, I was going to give her a real good deal on it. I told her I'd come in there and blow them into the woods and mulch them up for like $125, I think. But she acted like I'd put a knife to her throat. And so I, and I, that was really cheap. I mean, honestly, it was really cheap. She always like acts like she's very poor and broke. And maybe she is. I don't know. Um, you know, she is alone. And she recently had a son die. And I, I, I guess I just kind of feel sorry for her. So I told her I'd come and do it for $100. So today is not going to be a big money maker day. It's going to be a, <clears throat> a going to, to clean that one course. The yard that I'm going to do as part of the crepe myrtle deal that I did yesterday. I got paid for it. He wanted to pay me yesterday for it. And I went ahead and, and he, so he paid me. And so I'm going to just finish, basically going to take my mower and finish in the day. And the other, of course, like I say, the hedges. I value the hedge job at 100 And so I'm getting the trailer. And the way I'm going to do the trailer and a lot, of, a lot of trading is a good thing now, okay? When you can do some trading for some work, it usually turns out to your advantage. It always does mine. Uh, if I trade for something, I'm usually going to get at least twice to do twice to what it's worth to do the work. So what I'll do is I'll get this little trailer today, and I think it's like a 5 by 8 I'll get it. I'll throw a floor in it, some fresh paint, some lights, and whatever I have into it, I'm going to deduct that from what I'm going to sell it for. I'm going to profit $300 on the trailer. I will profit $300 on the trailer, or it'll stay at my house. But it'll, it'll be a pretty easy thing. Lights, 10 15 bucks. A floor, probably a, another 30 or 40 I'll easily be able to sell it for 450 So uh, trading is a pretty good thing. Anyway, so I'm going to turn this off until I get over there and I'm going to load the trailer first. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, here I am. I this trailer I'm going to load. Now I've got a tree jack, that's what it is. Uh, it's like a come along, but it's 
uber powerful. It's got a 25 foot cable. So what I'll do is I'll cut a hook, a hook there. And back here I'll hook the, hook the jack section. And I got these ramps. And I'll be able to jack it and bring it right up here in between these 16 foot trailer railings. So we're going to get with it. Oh yeah, we got these ramps so I can put it right under the tires there. So we're going to get with it and see how it goes. that lady's head just took me all of about 30 minutes from start to finish you are uh, probably seen yesterday where I said I prefer to use my own ladder that's why I've got a ladder it's 300 pound limit and I'm pushing every bit of that <laughs> no not quite I'm about two probably about 260 so I'm a big boy and I want to make sure when I step on a ladder that it's gonna hold me um, anyhow I got finished and you know sometimes you feel like people thinking you know they got cheated or something other because it didn't take as long but this lady actually thought that <clears throat> maybe <clears throat> she was cheating me but now like i say i'll get i'll get three hundred dollars profit after i fix that little trailer up i know it's only a five by eight 
But what I do is I've got about three of them. Actually, I've got four extra trailers. I get through the year, you know, my customers, and, you know, sometimes I just, like this great big one I'm pulling out, so. It's a eight and a half by 19 foot dually. And I paid 200 for it. And uh, I just seen it out in the field. Hadn't trees grow up in it. So I stopped and told them I'd give them 200 bucks for it, and they took it. So you know, uh, come spring, when, well, I say spring, about February, mid February, when people start getting their taxes back in or in, I will be taking and listing this stuff on Craigslist and Facebook. And I'll be getting rid of these trailers and I'll make a tidy little profit. And so, um, you know, I look for things like that all through the year. Like in the summer, if I go to yard sale and see a stove, I grab it. It'll be good for winter. In the uh, fall, when people stop mowing stuff, they start selling their mowing equipment, I'll buy some. Next year, spring, I'll sell it. Um, so, you know, uh, I've learned to do things like that with the kind of work I do to stay ahead. So I've always got plenty to sell if I need to. It's part of my business because, you know, like this past year is really bad. It set me out. It set me back. And if it wasn't for all my little dealings and trading and stuff like that, I'd be up the creek. So if you're going to do this kind of job, you kind of need to uh, hustle. And if you're like me and don't have anything but your uh, your back, because I ain't got no mind to work with. Anyhow, all right, well, I, I did that one. Um, I'm going to go do a, a big leaf job. Oh, I don't I don't look forward to it because I'm not getting paid what it's worth. And I know that's my own fault, but that's okay. I can live with it. It just makes me feel a little bit bad, not real bad. And then I've got to go and mow somebody's yard about 30 minutes. So, all right, guys. I don't know if I'll be recording anything else today, but hope you guys have a good one.